I tweeted out today and I said, guys, what should I do? Should I upload a GTA 5 video or would you guys rather a Need for Speed live stream? And I let you guys vote on Twitter and you guys, you people out there, yeah, you people out there said you wanted a GT5 video and that's what I did. So how are you guys doing? I'm Thomas Live. You guys are awesome, but you guys already knew that. And let's hit this hydraulics one time, one time for the awesome subs out there. Hope you guys are doing great. Now I got a very interesting video for you guys. Maybe you've heard this story from the news. Maybe you heard this story from another YouTuber. But at the end of the day, we all have different points of views. I may think a little bit different than the next person. Heck, I may think different from you. You never know. But I want you guys to do me a favor here. And not do me a favor, do this favor for video gaming. I want you guys to drop a like on this video if you're sick and tired of seeing people blame video games for, for senseless murders, hacking, raping, and all these stupid things that idiots do. If you're sick and tired of people blaming video games for that nonsense, I want you guys to drop a like on this video and stand up against that garbage. Now, recently, that was his 15 year old, right? He played games like Call of Duty, Resident Evil, and GTA. They said that he's been playing violent video games, as I quote them, violent video games since he was 10 years old. I don't see Call of Duty as a violent video game. I don't see Resident Evil as a violent video game either. Maybe GTA, I guess it can be perceived violent depending upon how you play it. A game like GTA can be whatever you want it to be. If you want to drive around on GTA Online just like I'm doing right now, you can play the game this way. Or if you want to get out of your car, oh my God, that was a huge willy. If you want to get out of your car and you want to shoot someone and kill them, then the game can be played that way. So in my opinion, maybe the game is not violent. Maybe it's the person that is playing it. And that's my standpoint with GTA. And I'm about to die. Let me get back in the car. So this 15 year old, he played all these different games, right? And the media tried to blame him being a hacker on playing these violent video games. They, they also said that the kid was a loner, you know, he played video games. He wanted to be a professional Call of Duty player. He wanted to do this. He wanted to do that. And it seems that all they ever did was point out in the article that video games was maybe the reason why he did it. And I think that is nonsense. Like, who is writing these articles? Is it people that are a thousand years old that are writing these articles? How dare you guys blame a game like GTA 5 or even Call of Duty or Resident Evil for someone being a hacker, for someone being a murderer, for someone being a rapist? That's the stuff that those people want to do and they're going to do it. It has nothing to do with a video game. Now, I will say this. Back in the day, I don't know if I watched a movie. I don't know what it was, but something caught my eye about hackers, right? So I started to watch documentaries on hackers. I love watching documentaries on serial killers. I love that stuff. I also like watching documentaries on just anything violent, right? Um, there's a show that I like to watch. Uh, what is it called? Uh, like Nate, I don't know. I forgot what it's called. But anyway, they tell these chilling stories, right, about someone committing murder and then them getting caught. Like, I love that stuff. I used to watch it like every Saturday or Friday night. It would come on. I think on NBC, I would watch it. Love it. That's the kind of stuff I like. I like documentaries, sports. That's what I do. But anyway, I'm going on this tangent, getting off topic. But I'm just tired of people blaming video games for the nonsense that goes on. There's this guy that killed 77 people in Norway. 77 people in Norway. I believe that he was captured in 2011. So this is not too long ago. 77 people. It said that he played Call of Duty. That was one of the biggest headlines. Murderer plays Call of Duty. Says that the murders became easy because he played Call of Duty. And I can't say that these video games don't desensitize us because 
I'm starting to see like over the internet, certain things are acceptable over the internet and they're not acceptable in a real life setting. You know, I see people like joking about people that may be mentally retarded, or I see people like making jokes about someone getting harmed. And that's the kind of stuff you would never see happen in real life, but over the internet, it's done. So maybe it's the internet that's desensitizing people. You know, maybe it's that. I just look, I just can't say that it's video games that's causing people to be assholes. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Should GTA, Resident Evil, and other games like Call of Duty be blamed for senseless acts amongst these stupid people that commit them? This is Dom is Live. I'm out. By the way, I played WWE. I did a live stream on that. I got freaking destroyed. There were so many things that I didn't know about the game. That was like my. Like my second time playing it, I got the game late last night and I played it today, so yeah. But I'll be better next time I play it, I promise you guys, I will be better. Also to be on the lookout for some live streams on this channel, Need for Speed, all that stuff. This is Dom.